Stretch of roadway that may be part of your commute home, but now over the park police focusing the radar guns on drivers. Well, so that's because countless drivers along 435 in Johnson County are just barreling through those work zones at dangerous speeds. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth tells us how police and the state are now cracking down. Eastbound 435 here in Overland Park between Quivera and Metcalf has been under construction for the past several weeks. The speed limit here, since it's a work zone, is 55 miles per hour, which is the speed we're traveling right now. But as you can see, that doesn't matter to most people. Many of us are in a hurry. That's nothing new. What is new is the construction on eastbound I-435, a work zone that has many concerned. The fastest driver was driving 95 miles per hour. After receiving calls about the rampant speeding between Quivera and Metcalf, Overland Park Police set up added enforcement on Monday. They handed out 130 tickets in three hours. You have to understand there's two barricades on 435, eastbound and westbound, and there's no shoulder. So we want people to try to slow down. It's a very dangerous area. And the danger seems to only increase as the weeks go by, not just for workers repaving the road, but other drivers. We've seen 25 incidents alone since April 11th in the work zone. We brought our own radar gun and caught several drivers going 70 miles per hour plus. It's because of these high speeds that police and KDOT are both urging drivers to slow down. Otherwise, expect this stretch of I-435 to be constant anxiety for the next year and a half. We've seen it occur for anything from road debris to cars running out of gas to crashes, um, as well as one day, you know, we, we actually saw a truck lost its lumber. And just a reminder, if you get caught speeding through a work zone, your fine is doubled even if workers are not present. In Overland Park, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. All right, good information and a good warning, Josh. Thank you. Again, this project is not going away anytime soon. KDOT says it will take two years to finish this area of 435 between 69 Highway and Metcalf. And when that project is done, the same will happen here on 435 on the Missouri side from State Line to 71 Highway.